Good evening and welcome to another What's Up Wednesday. This is an exciting show. Just like they all are. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas. We're going to do something a little different tonight. We're doing Cast Iron Van Chef live cooking in the galley tonight. We're making minestrone soup, and this is hopefully what it will look like when we're done. OMG, I have no idea if it's going to look this good. Uh, this was stylized by a food artist. Yeah, mine's probably not going to look like that. Nonetheless, we are definitely doing uh, Cast Iron Van Chef live cooking. I just want to say thank you for watching another What's Up Wednesday, episode 155. Next month marks three years, starting the third year of What's Up Wednesday. Super excited to have you here and super excited to be in your ears, your eyes, in your bedroom, in your living room, in your van, in your phone, in your pocket, wherever you're watching from. Just a big uh, thank you for being part of... Uh, making What's Up Wednesday part of your weekly routine. Hopefully, everybody got uh, what they wanted for Christmas. Let's see if this is going to work. There we go. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, where is my cursor? Here we go. Um, yeah, hopefully you got everything you wanted for Christmas. And we did a uh, poll earlier today. And some did, some didn't. Um, and many folks did not get their van Whoops, that you wanted. So the uh, question was, did Santa bring you everything you wanted for Christmas? Nope. Uh, Santa did not bring me everything. 20% 20, uh, 20 said that. Yes, Santa brought me. Man, my typos are really bad. I brought me everything I wanted. And half of everybody, uh, 54 votes said I didn't get a camper van for Christmas. Apparently, you need to be just a little bit better this coming year to get your camper van from Santa. And uh, it's just a delight to... Um, see how people think about those kind of things. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, we're doing cast iron van chef. I'm using my lodge cast iron, which is made in Tennessee, just outside of um, Chattanooga. So excited. Uh, almost stopped there, but didn't. And I should have. Don't you hate driving by things that you know you should stop and see, and then you kick yourself because you didn't? I um, actually found my... Uh, let me zoom over here. Uh, well, I'll do this. This is my two-quart uh, cast iron... Uh, Dutch oven that I got at um, Cracker Barrel of all places. This is a two quart, really hard to find because uh, it's small, fits in the van great. This is my one of only two pans I have in the van. The other one is a the same size skillet. It fits this lid. Those are the only two pans I have in my van uh, for cooking. So, uh, we're going to cook cook that up uh, tonight. Pretty excited about that. If you want to go to the uh, recipe and see if I'm making it right or wrong, judging okay <laughs> um this is on my website go small live large .com. you can click to events and then go and see the recipe um there uh it's from the washington post love the washington post they do a great job in my opinion ask me anything about van life uh just about to uh, conclude my fifth year full-time travel and uh it's just a uh, there's much not much i haven't done or seen um but here's some uh, topics if you're needing a topic see a lot of uh uh, regulars in here, which is just great. I just love to have you all here. So, so great to have you. Um, let's see what we're going to say. Uh, this is the question format. If you have a question, please use three stars, three question marks, and then your question. And uh, that'll help me see it and answer it more readily. And uh, we're going to say howdy after we kind of get the, the soup cooking, because it does take a little bit to get going. So we'll say howdy to everybody once we get that cooking. Four Roses is our uh, libation live tonight. Um, Four Rose, this is kind of their, this is a small batch. It's about $33 a bottle. Uh, not super expensive, super delicious. Um, one of my kind of go-tos. Uh, visit. I have visited the uh, distillery there in Kentucky, and it's really one of the best um, distillery tours, in my opinion. The Libation Live uh, photo is from the, um, the RV park that I'm at. Let me show you this. Uh, we got our day in history coming up as well. Fish is our, uh, our song of the night. I thank you for our audience friend bring, bringing that uh, suggestion up. And again, that question format. Uh, let's skip this, skip this, and let us know where you're watching from. That's super important. If you don't see your country's flag on the map, please shout it out. Uh, this truly is an international sensation. We'd love to have some watchers from, I don't know, uh, Africa and from uh, South America. And China would pretty, be pretty cool too, right? 
so if you don't see your country's flag, please let us know. I'm coming at you from Key West, Florida. Let me zoom in here for you so you can see some of this. This is at Boyd's uh, RV Park. Um, really can't street camp in Key West, uh, so you have to have a place to stay. And I'm told they're pretty militant, they being the police, pretty militant about this. Um, Kyle's going to try it tonight, so we'll see how he does. I am safely ensconced at the RV park. This is a $115 site you're looking at. It does have power for AC. And if you've never been to Key West, you really need to come to Key West. It's it's a pretty big drive. It's at least a, an hour, hour and a half from Miami. Um, it's way, 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 way down here. And uh, it was pretty warm today. Uh, just beautiful weather, 71 degrees. It's going to be 69 overnight, humid-ish. So you still have to have the AC on for my comfort, but uh, compared to the rest of the country, it's pretty warm. Endless summer Florida. Uh, man, if you want to buy a place here in Key West, you better have a big wallet because it's really expensive. And they're really small. Island living, right? And gas price, I'm happy to say, excuse me, not too bad, about three bucks a gallon. All right, have a, give a thumb up if you're enjoying yourself this evening. Oh, this thing is just not cooperating with me. What is going on? There we go. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I guess we're ready to start cooking. Um, let's see. What else do I want to uh, tell you about? We uh, uh, da, 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 kind of scattered today. I don't know. So it's one of those days. Uh, all right, let's get cooking. Good looking. You ready? Okay, so I'm going to shift to both cameras, and hopefully these will work. There we go. I'm going to put the uh microphone up here so i can talk to it so this is the um the recipe uh right here uh some of these i have not uh purchased kind of on purpose like zucchini um celery you know i would never use i would if i had a regular house but i don't so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, um, now, but when I start cooking in my van, the thing I always do first is take the battery out of the smoke detector because boiling water makes the thing go off. So we're going to fire up the oven here. It will still work. Uh, let's get that going. All right. That's good news. We have propane. Okay, so get that. The first thing it calls for is in a large pot over medium heat, heat the oil until it's shimmering. Shimmering. <laughs> Add the uh, onion, celery, carrots, and cook, stirring occasionally till soft but not browned. So I've um, what I've done here is for the um, the onion again. I just need this recipe feeds six. I'm one, maybe two, uh, for a leftover. So I'm just making enough for like a meal. So I've actually went and bought dehydrated onion. This is going to smell excellent. Onion water in my trash. Not so great. Okay, we'll let that heat up, and then we're going to do the carrots. And what I like to do is, whoa, I use scissors uh, for a lot of the cooking I do because knives are uh, just extra work, I think. So we're going to... I don't know. What do you think? Is it shimmering? Shimmering. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Uh, let me know what Santa brought you. Let you come and know what Santa brought you. Let's cut up some. Uh, turn that down a little bit. We've gotten to the point where we don't uh, really do Christmas gifts. Because we kind of have everything we need, and if we need it, we just go get it anyway. So, I know the siblings and their kids are way too old to be giving, getting uh, Christmas presents from me, certainly. Uh, wow. All right, what do you think? This is kind of rustic. <laughs> uh, yeah, knife would be better. You're right. But one more thing you have to deal with, wash cutting board. I do have a couple nice knives um, in here, but I've actually so rarely used them. I do like carrots. Ah. Got 
One for me. All right. Enough of that one. Okay. Let's take a minute. Let me say hi to some folks. Our next thing is to um, put in garlic, basil, oregano, salt, and pepper. Cook for one more minute. All right. Let's say hi to some folks. Love doing this stuff. Kind of a funky show tonight. <laughs> uh, when aren't they, right? Uh, Eric, send hello from Plant City, Florida. Uh, good to have you here, Eric. Appreciate that. Uh, here is Mesa Mike. Merry Christmas. God bless you and Kyle Van Bro. Just got home from work. W O R K. I'm still working. So I know how you feel. This is great. Glad to have you here, Miss Mike. There's Sherry's in the house. Wisconsin. Uh, wishing you all a great adventure in 2024. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about next week. Um, ooh. Ooh, I hear some sizzling. Ooh. Okay. That's a clue. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we definitely don't want to get that too cooked. Um, and the other thing about cast iron is, yeah, you've got to use your uh, handle. Stop cooking! Stop cooking! Stop cooking! Okay, now I've sufficiently browned the onions. But it's hard not to do. Uh, let's get us off the <laughs> Making a mess already. This is great. Okay, what was the next thing? Let's see. Um, thank you, Sherry, for being here. Here's Roads of Life. Thank you, Roads of Life. Temps are warm, getting cooler at night. I thought winter was over already. Yeah, summer will be in Texas any minute. So just hang tight there, Rob. Let's see. So next we're going to add the uh, garlic, basil, oregano, salt, and pepper. All right, let's do that. This RV park is uh, well known. Been here since 1963, and uh, got lots of spaces. Uh, many of them are water on the water, and uh, yeah, I definitely brown those. Okay, so we're gonna add some basil paste. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Um, some of the sites are pretty expensive; a couple hundred bucks a night. There's really not many places down here is the problem. For these guys to be doing RV parks, um, you know, 50-some years ago, pretty impressive. A little S&P. And what's it say to do next? Look another minute. Yeah, I think we'll not worry about that. Just add the, uh, the step two. Here is looking. Uh, step two, add the tomatoes, the broth, and the water. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat back on. Ow, ow, ow. That's one thing about cast iron cooking. You respect the heat. Okay. Back over there, turn this down. And tomatoes. Ooh. Yum. And I'm going to add another. This is a chicken broth. This is definitely a meal I probably would not make. Ooh, it looks pretty good though. In my van, I just have learned how to simplify cooking. So this is kind of a fun treat. I think I said water too, right? Tomatoes, broth. I'm going to add one can of water, I think. Let's do that. It is soup, after all, right? We'll say hi to some folks when this comes up to boil. That is a full pot. All right, we don't need that anymore. Let this cook. We have flame. Ow, 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 ow. 
of stir. What do you have for dinner tonight? Let me know. That would be great. But it is a one-pot dinner. That makes it very doable. Um, the only deviation to the uh, recipe is, other than not putting some stuff in it, is uh, I'm using rotisserie chicken. So this is Costco. $5 still, after all these years, for a rotisserie chicken. Um, I love rotisserie chickens in the van because they're so versatile. You can do anything with it. Just pull the meat off the bone, discard the package in the parking lot at Costco. And um, you can, I make, i probably get, I don't know, two, three, four dinners, meals out of that. 68 people, this is great, <laughs> watching me cook. Okay, let, somebody let me know when that gets bubbling. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I'll give you a before and after. Ooh, nice. All right, that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, thumbs up, everybody. Thank you, Roads of Life. Appreciate that. He has a YouTube channel, in case you are not familiar, called Roads of Life. He wanders around in his embassy RV. It's so great. And Sherry wanders around her embassy RV, too. It's so great. Uh, here's Ron. Hello, Scott from Estate, New York. Temp is 42 degrees out tonight. Gas 299. Hope everyone will have a happy new year. Yes, sir. That's next week, right? It's just this year has flown by. Here's Ohio Sharon. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, here's David. Oh, from Albany. Gas harvesting 340 a gallon. Wow. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for being here. Here's uh, Mr. Kurtz in the house and his lovely bride. 39 degrees, 267. Wow. Uh, gas is kind of cheap there in Illinois. That's interesting. Uh, have a great 2024, everyone. Yes, we're all, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, sure he's working. There's Roger and Jane in the house. Uh, good to see you, sir and ma'am. She makes a mean meatloaf. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's MAF in the house. Good evening, Scott from Hartford, Connecticut. Where it's 42 rainy degrees and gas is 349. Yeah, we were we checked in here at three uh, on uh, Christmas Eve. It rained all day Christmas Day. I didn't get out of bed. I cannot tell you the last time I had a lazy day. I literally did nothing. I felt so guilty. Um, but that's how we roll. Here's Bill and Joe in the house. Uh, hello, Scott and everyone. What's up Wednesday? And hope they enjoy their uh, holiday. Coming from home base, Florida. With temperature 70 degrees. Gas 319. Uh, which is about the same price as down here, which is kind of interesting considering how they have to get it here, which is a long drive. Uh, do you say hi to David yet? Hey, David, what's up? Chicago. Uh, good to see you, sir. Thank you for being here. There's Tin Can Carl in the house. Good to see you. Uh, I've not forgot about your newsletter, uh, Carl. Uh, hang tight on that. Uh, here's Tim Miller in the house. Hey, Scott, Columbus, Ohio. Temp high of 51 today. Hope to see you at Tampa show Wednesday or Thursday. That would be so awesome. And yeah, we're doing two roundups, one on Wednesday at 11 a.m. at the uh, Winnebago Travato uh, display in the Lazy Days booth. Um, and then we're doing a roundup on um, Thursday at the Sunshine State RVs booth uh, on Thursday. And then I'm probably skedaddling. Um, here's Frisco T in the house. Frisco T, check in from Frisco, Texas, 46 degrees. Your ass around 265 or so. That's really, uh, that's that's getting right down there. Um, let's see. David O, cooking tonight. What's some of the best cooking appliances for van life? Uh, cast iron, I've learned. Um, good question. I might toy with an air fryer. I actually have a little bit of room in my van now after getting rid of all the bourbon. Um, but less is more, in my opinion. So even though I've got everything I need, um, I don't know. I, everybody's to each his own. I got a, a coffee pot. I don't, I don't know. It's a good question. Less is more. Uh, don't bite unless you have to is my advice. Um, <laughs> microwave, actually. Uh, it's probably the best cooking appliance. Here's Simi G in the house. Greetings, Scott. Happy New Year to you and everyone. Simi Valley. A pleasant sunny day, 65, 469. Hope to see you in 2024. That would be great. We're headed to California in 2024. I'm super excited for that. Here's uh, Marcia. Good to see you from Win uh, Winayuma, Florida, I think, right? Uh, rain coming, yeah. Uh, uh oh, here's Beyond Intention. How's Chris doing? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, we hang out with him all day yesterday. Um, Kyle's with him tonight. Um, they're down here in Key West. Uh, they have a YouTube channel called Beyond Intentions. 
And if you haven't seen it, um, be sure and check them out. They're about full-time travel. Uh, she's a travel nurse. He's a, a man husband and um, YouTuber. Chris, get some videos out, man. <laughs> they are so great. I was travel dreamer in the house. How's my, my uh, soup looking? Let's take a look. Hmm. Let's stir it. What do you think? Just getting up stirs it. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Got to make sure the taste. Not bad. Needs salt. Let's um, put some sodium in there. Yeah, cooking appliance, um, microwave, I think is probably my most favorite cooking appliance. All right, let's give that another stir. It smells good, I must say. This napkin, so a little nice mess. Try not to catch it on fire. Nice. Here. Okay. What's our step three here? So I'm reading from the uh, step three. Let me uh, go here. Step three is add the tortellini. We turn the broth to a boil, then cook uncovered one minute. I might add the chicken next. Let it kind of heat. What do you think? I'm not going to have room for the pasta. That's, that's what's going to happen here. Oh, my God. That is hysterical. Just skip the water. That's all right. Oh, well. We'll add a few so we can say we made tortellini soup. See, it's lush in there. Oh, my God. It's really full. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, there's Sherry in the house tonight. Hi from Cracker Barrel. Boldasta, Georgia. Oh my God, that's a great town. I love that town. I have overnighted there many times. Um, street camp. It's so great. Steve's in the house. Hi, Sherry. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Steve's in the house. Hi, Scott Hobo as well. You're going to try uh, come to the Tampa show in January. Yes, sir. We are going to be down there on um, <coughs> excuse me, Industry Day, um, which is not open to the public. But on Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be there uh, in the morning for uh, two uh, roundups, meet, meet and greets. Call them around. So please come see it. Excuse me. Please come see us. <laughs> Roads of life. I always get what I want for Christmas. Yeah, because you buy it for yourself. My wife and wonderful daughter. Oh, the dog too. <laughs> so funny. He is so fantastic. Uh, uh, let's see. Here's Matt. Here's uh, Edwin Palmerton. Hello from Chain Lakes in Winter Haven at Legoland, um, Florida, right? Winter Haven. So great to see you. Thanks for being here. Appreciate that. It's funny. Here's Matt in the house. I'm sure tonight will taste better than, than your frozen Thanksgiving turkey dinners. Yeah, pretty sure of that. Um, it smells really good. Although they smell good too. Until I started tasting, until I started tasting them, it was like, what in the hell is this stuff made of? Unbelievable. The most expensive one, turkey dinner, tastes like fish. Couldn't believe it. So funny. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate that. Here's K3 from Wisconsin. Sunny and no snow. Yeah, not really a white Christmas for anyone this year, right? I might have that wrong. Um. <laughs> Mason Mike saying you will never uh, catch him putting leftover pizza in a microwave. Sir, that's what microwaves are for. Ooh, this is getting kind of uh, bubbly back here. Look at this. Ooh. All right, let's give that a stir. What do you think? <laughs> smells good. I think we'll do, start doing some of these cast iron, cast iron van chef. Uh, I can tell this doesn't have enough salt in it. Um, in the new year, I think it's just kind of fun. Okay, so we're going to add the, this is fresh tortellini, so it's not dehydrated. 
I'm just gonna put a few of these in here because it's, the pot's too damn full. Should have left out the uh, extra can of water. At least cook really fast. Let me think. I'm not a little rigging on there. When's the last time you bought spices? Maybe we'll buy some of these spices for the uh, recipe. I don't know who is making spices these days, but it's a you need to get a loan to buy a bottle of spices. It's insane. Ooh, I'm looking pretty good. Oh, the Americans that's really good. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Let's let that cook a minute. Keep an eye on that, please. If it boils over, we got a problem. Let's see. Let me turn this down. Yeah, it's not bad. Ooh, looks pretty good, huh? What do you think? Um, Dan Archer in the house from uh, California. Thank you for being here, sir. Appreciate that. Gal, uh, can, uh, Canadian G Wiz, J Swiz. That's great. In Canada, would love to get to Canada. Probably won't happen. Um, uh, yeah, and getting in, getting out, and border the whole thing. Uh, so Mr. Kurtz is saying your Lodge Factory Outlet Museum is a great stop in Tennessee, just outside of Chattanooga. Yeah, I should have. Visited, made a video. My bad on that. I'm it's super. Uh, oh, somebody's tapping at my window. Hello. Do you have a wine opener? A wine opener? Yeah. Sure. We're helping the neighbor with a wine opener. There we go. I'll come get it later. Thank you. Or tomorrow. Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> Making van friends. That's a tough cookie. They're, uh, they're actually tent camping. Uh, I think it's grandma and grandpa with their, uh, with their grandkid. There's a lot of vans in this uh, park. There's a, looking over here, there's a, a Rebel. There's quite a few Rebels. A lot of vans. Really interesting. Because you can't really street camp here, which kind of drives me crazy. So let's see. Hello to Kyle. Yes, hello, Kyle. <laughs> Uh, appreciate that. Here's April in the house from Bernie, Texas. I know how to say it because I've been there. Uh, there's a harvest host there, uh, April. And in case you didn't know, cave with no name. You got to go. It's so great. John Stanton's in the house. Good to see you, sir. Good evening. Still pretty warm here in Spokane, 40 degrees. Happy New Year to all. Yes, indeed. Uh, how's my soup doing? Is it boiling over yet? Oof. It's getting close. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty. It smells so yummy. It's tasty. Mm, pretty good. It really needs salt. I'm going to put in a whole bunch. That looks a little rough. Now we'll give that a stir. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a bowl and we're going to put spinach in there because it calls for spinach. This is what I use. Um, this is what I use for the uh, in the van because lettuce goes really bad really fast. Spinach probably lasts almost a week. And I use spinach for everything. All right, let's, let's let that sit for a minute. Let the heat off. Say hi to some folks. Oh, it smells good. I'm kind of hungry now. Uh, yes, indeed. This is so great. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've been grouping here tonight. This is awesome. Bev in Mesa, Arizona. Bev, nice to have you join us tonight. Appreciate you being here. Here's Sherry Ann and Mike. Seminole, Florida. I love uh, Sherry and Mike. And your two, three cats. How many cats you got now? Here's Dale in the house. San Diego, good to have you here, sir. Appreciate that. JJ, greetings from Austin, Texas. Hook them up. Is that this thing? Right? Is that how you do that? 
I don't know. <laughs> Love Austin. Um, if you're visiting Austin and you want a place to camp, um, I don't think I street camped in Austin yet, but there is a campground RV park called Pecan Grove. It's right downtown. It's just across the river from downtown in a really awesome neighborhood. Been there since, I don't know, uh, 1930 or something. It's been there for a million years. And um, they're still operating what is a pretty cool RV park. No amenities, really, but a place to park and safe overnight. Pecan Grove, Austin, Texas. Dale's in the house. We said hi to you already. I guess we did. Sorry. Uh, uh, Mason Mike, is Kyle camping the same campground as you, or did you leave him to fend for himself? Uh, he is fending for himself tonight. He opted um, not to stay the extra night. He wants to, he's wants. he got this boondocking site. He's got all scoped out, says he's uh, safely parked there overnight before. Um, so we are wishing him the best tonight. Uh, I'm enjoying my AC <laughs> plugged in. Um, but uh, I think we're going to stay around here another day and then head, head north to Miami. Um, all of our Airbnbs are all filled, so we really have no place to go. Um, welcome to van life. It's so great. Thank you for being concerned, but he was here. It was kind of fun. Kind of weird. It's like, it was like just behind me. I'm like, that's kind of weird. Uh, step two, have a drink. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, good idea, Steve. Uh, so four roses, um, one of my favorite kind of go-to. Oh yeah. Bourbons. Uh, I love your step two here. Let's do that. And for those of you that are new that don't know the story behind this, uh, the inspiration comes from Traveling Robert. He's a huge MyPA beer fan. And I thought that's kind of a cool idea to share taste from the road. Um, my preference is bourbon. Discover country music and bourbon uh, through van life. So Four Roses, a uh, small batch, not super expensive, um, easy to drink. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. That's a good one. They make some good stuff. This is kind of their lower end. They get some really high end stuff. Ooh, that always tickles your tummy. That first sip every time. So delicious. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Steve, the, Steve the Canadian. Lover. Thank you, sir. Good idea. Cheers, everybody. Uh, if you're doing the jingle game, here you go. That one's for Rob. <laughs> Um, let's see. I actually had some scotch, uh, JJ, um, a couple weeks ago, or, or one of our neighbors, uh, had some friends from Australia up and they had this really, um, they said it was kind of expensive. I would believe that, um, scotch. Uh, I am not a scotch fan. I put it down cause I was, didn't want to be that guy, um, to say no to booze. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I just, I, I appreciate it. I just can't do the, the scotch. Blue cheese is another thing I just cannot do. Let me know if you have a food you really don't like. Okay, let's, um, thank you. Appreciate that. Let's look at the soup here. I don't want to overdo the, um, noodles or the uh, pasta. In fact, I want it actually kind of undercooked. Um, what do I need to do here? Let me get, um, bowl. And these are my hydro flask bowls. Love hydro flask. And what I'm going to do is let's just put some of this in here. Remove the microphone. And we'll sort of kind of cool down in the bowl. Get some chicken. See that? Oh yeah. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll go to my neighbors and have a glass of wine with them and bring them some soup. What do you think? Okay, not bad looking, right? Let's do a little spinach in there. Whoops. And we'll see how I did compared to the picture. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Let it... What do you think? Not bad, right? Let that cool down. There's my hydro flask spoon. Love these things too. Just give a little taste. 
Ah, appropriate amount of sodium, much better. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Mm, see, fire's off. Okay, let that cool down a minute. Now we need a campfire, and you sit around, tell stories, drink bourbon, and eat soup. Quarterly chicken soup. I'm kind of proud of myself. That turned out pretty good. That smells so good. Mm. Cast Iron Van Chef, what do you think? Thumb up, please. Uh, let's say hi to some four folks. Um, here's life, life and life and death. <laughs> Scott, there are official plans. Scott, there are official plans to abandon some of the keys as sea levels keep rising. So price will definitely go higher for what's left. Um, it's kind of weird to think you're like literally 12 inches above sea level. It's insane. Um, Key West being the biggest island of the keys. Uh, there's a lot of keys. Marathon's pretty big. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, April's have a bean soup and cornbread. Oh yeah, that's a Texas special. Uh, <laughs> Travel drivers get it. This guy should have a set of the silicone handle covers. They do not take up much space, but protect from burns. Um, I agree with you. Maybe I'll take you up on that. Good idea. Easiest way to locate Costco locations on the trip uh, with their website or an app or just ask Siri. Um, here, this is for all of us. Hey, Siri. Where's the closest Costco? Okay, I found this on the web for where is the closest Costco? Check it out. <laughs> it's way north than Miami. <laughs> I'm not going to Costco tonight. Um, yeah, they have a pretty good app, actually, um, on the phone and on the... Um, okay, goodbye, Siri. Thank you, Siri. There you go. Um, and they have a really good iPad app as well, which is really nice. Always the least expensive gas. Okay, so here's we got some. Uh, here's Simi G. Thank you, Simi G. Appreciate this. Jingle jar. Just start to your New Year's Eve drink. Oh my God. I'm getting your reputation. Have a great 2024, Simi G. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. It goes right to the uh, Libation Life Fund, uh, which I generously share. We've got campouts coming up starting in February. We've got two of them in February. So I'm stocking up. Uh, thank you, Larry. Appreciate that. Uh, he's a great guy. See me G. And then we got John in the house. John, what's wrong? You're not, are we not drinking tonight? <laughs> I like how you roll, sir. Cheers. Uh-oh. Appreciate that. Mm. So delicious. Uh, thank you, John. I he's a great guy. I still need to open up that bottle you gave me. Um, I can't remember. It starts with an M, right? Oh, he's a great guy. Uh, let's see. Let's say hi to some folks. Uh, here's Donis from uh, Baton Rouge. That is a cool town. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, capital, right? Of Louisiana, one of the strangest state capitals. Ever is your cool state capitol building. Uh, one day I'll teach you how to make gumbo. It's great one pot dinner, microwave, roux, make it easy. Yes, please. Uh, that would be, that sounds good. Gumbo. Is that got shrimp in it or sausage? I don't know, all of the above, probably, right? Marcy is like, when, um, when I'm, when say, why mama? Why mama? Ah, oh, say, is that how you say it? Say, why mama? Yes, in Florida, outside Tampa. So great. Um, Edwin uh, says, Air Fryer does it all. Mesa Mike would agree with you. <laughs> uh, K3 says, Toaster Oven. Uh, it's also Air Fryer and Boiler. Chris and Sandy actually replaced their microwave above their fridge with a toaster oven. It's pretty insane. That's, I love it. Uh, here's Laura. That might be a new name. Hi, Laura. How are you tonight? Appreciate you watching. Hello from Minis uh, Minneapolis. That's a great town. How do you store? How do you store that much soup? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to pass it around the camp. Uh, are you planning to look at the new Winnebago Solus model? Could you ever live in a smaller Class B? Um, smaller, perhaps. Uh, it's all about floor plan for me. Um, Winnebago did a great job maxim you know, uh, maximizing this floor plan for the extra two feet. The 19-footers, I've stayed in those in the um, Storyteller version. And they're way easier to park and I'd say easier to drive than the 22-foot. But um, I get a lot of extra... Um, comfort for those couple extra feet. So 
Um, look forward to seeing um, all the new models um, at the Super Show next month. It's going to be great. Uh, Solus, they make a great, Winnebago makes a great band, the, the Solus. So, uh, <laughs> Edwin, he's been here since the beginning. This is great. Uh, thank you for your input. Watch you six years ago. Yeah, it's crazy to think about. You do such great work in your uh, live streams. Are awesome. Appreciate that, Edwin. Uh, so he, John did the same thing here. I pulled my microwave, lined the cow fireproof insulation, added a cooling fan, and installed a Galson multi oven air fryer. It's performed flawlessly. Yeah, Chris would kind of agree with you there. Uh, beyond intentions. He probably made a video about that. Modification. I'm needling him a little bit. Uh, Sharon Fields, uh, uh, Ohio Sharon, you need a wooden spoon to lay across the top so it won't boil. That would keep it from boiling over? A wooden spoon? Really? I've never heard of that. Does that work? All right. Does this cool down enough? Let's have a... At least you need to taste the chicken, right? Mmm. Hot. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm. Yeah, it's great for a cold winter. Mm. And the tortellini is just cooked, but not too much. Al dente. Never heard of that. Let me know if the wooden spoon trick works for someone else. It's crazy to think about that. Mm. Okay, try carrot. Mmm. It's actually soft. I was expecting crunchy. Do a tomato and a little, uh, hopefully I'm making you hungry. Probably have eaten already some of it. Mmm. It is fun cooking in the van. Need to do it more often. Um... I always say, unless you've had a shower in your van, you really haven't had the full van experience. And I think cooking a dinner like this in your van is kind of the same deal. Um, <laughs> Edwin says, uh, check out Jolly Roger as you're heading out the Keys North, halfway up a really nice campground. Uh, we'll look for that, sir. Thank you. We checked for a bunch of others. It's just, it's the season. It's Christmas, the holidays. Um, everything's just so sold out. They do have a couple spots here. Strangely, the site Kai was in, which they said wasn't available tonight, is empty, which is kind of funny. Um, oh, good idea here. A few mushrooms make the difference. That's that's a good idea. Fernando, appreciate that. And, uh, Larry, did I get your question above? I think it did, right? Right here? Uh, yeah, we got to there. Thank you for that. There's Simi G. There's Denim Root. Merry Christmas. Just got him from Panhandle, Florida. Creighton Beach State Park, St. Andrew State Park. Um, I'm excited. Hopefully, can stay a couple more um, state parks um, while we're buzzing about. Um, everybody's walking by and looking at me like, what is that guy doing? Uh, Matt wants to know, my cooking seems to be taste better after the bourbon tasting. Yes, sir. I'm totally with you. Everything's a little better with bourbon, right? There we go. Uh, <laughs> there's Lyle. Um Apologies to your bride, Lyle, for having to use the um, bourbon um, towel to get the bug last week. I'm happy to say there's no bugs tonight. Uh, well, that I've seen yet. How are we doing on time? we got 15 minutes. Uh, not very many bugs here in West, uh, Key West, West Palm Beach, Key West. Um, for those who like mixed drinks, how about Libation Live segment li 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 discussing mixed drinks using bourbon? That's a pregnant idea. I actually have a cookbook. Um, let me see how fast I can get this. This was a gift to me from the, uh, one of the co-owners, co-founders, um, a storyteller. This is, um, Andrew. He is so great. He's like, hopefully he and the Russos can get together and make some cocktails. Maybe we'll do that. It's all about, oof, good, good one to start with right there, right? Holy cow. What's tomorrow? Thursday? Who's off tomorrow? Maybe we'll make Bloody Marys. 
with all the goods, right? Maybe we'll make it out of the soup stuff tonight. I don't know. Um, but that's a good idea. It's kind of fun. Post the recipe. Um, here's a marshmallow mule. Um, uh, twist on s'mores. Um, and they've got them by... Uh, here's BMB. Blueberry maple bourbon. Mm. That's not a bad idea. We want to do more of these as place... Um, Post the uh, um, recipe um, in advance so people can can um, get the ingredients and let's cook together. It's a great idea. Thank you, Lyle, for bringing that up. I love you all. You're so this is, I got the right audience, right? I mean, seriously, it's so great. Um, <laughs> looks good. I'm hungry. Yes, sir. It's pretty tasty. <laughs> uh, Mr. Kurtz wants to know why does your Siri sound like an Indian support agent? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, it's kind of a funny story. Um, my old job, when I had a corporate job, the, um, the owner of the com uh, uh, company, uh, Alex, uh, at the company Lex Tech, his, his, uh, partner in the business was from South Africa, uh, with a, um, you know, English accent basically. And I used to have the, uh, British guy voice. And he was so annoyed. Alex was so annoyed because they, they broke up and had a really kind of falling out in the business um, with these ways and a lot of stuff in between, blah, blah, blah. Um, and when Alex and I would travel together, he's like, you've got to change that Siri voice because it sounds like my ex-partner and I can't stand listening to that voice. So change it. And I just, I don't like, like the American voices are too obvious to me. But uh, so I picked the Indian Siri. I've been listening to Indian Siri for, geez, I don't even know, three or four years now. And he's so funny. He calls him a car park, <laughs> not a parking lot, but a car park. And when I have uh, videos where uh, I'm navigating and he comes on, I get more comments with his, about his voice than the actual video. So we keep using it, but that's why, um, that's just for fun. If you're ready for a change, Hey, it's new here in just a few days, you know, just put on a new Siri voice and, um, <laughs> and try something different. That's what this is all about, is trying something different. Face your fears, Kyle would say. Um, thank you, Rich, for that comment. Um, brown Sugar Brown, in the, in the house. Hey, Scott, food looks delicious. Are you eating all by yourself? Send ho send some uh, to New Jersey. Have a great New Year. Be safe. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. That was not going to travel very well. Mm. I'm kind of impressed. Now, well, I didn't put in here a celery or zucchini. The celery would have been nice. But we'll figure out a way to make that happen so we don't throw it away. So it's pretty good, I have to say. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Appreciate that. Looks yummy. Um, <laughs> this day in history. Scott. Um, oh, this one right here. This day in history, this guy should cook a meal on his stovetop. I do it occasionally, but thank you, Mason Mike. This is great. Beyond intention, in the house. Well, they're kind of down the street. <laughs> we had some, oh my God, we had the, they, so what was the name, uh, Chris, Sandy, the the docks? You have to kind of go through a, a little bit of a ghetto neighborhood to get there, but oh my God, it's the best. Um, we had squid, ceviche. They called it something different, but it was raw octopus. It was so so delicious. Um, Drink, I know since you weren't able to make it out this evening, we had a great time with a silver panda. That's Kyle. <laughs> great to see you. Thank you. Appreciate that. How's Chris doing? Does he have some of his clothes on? He was doing some day drinking. He's not as um, he's not as uh, robust, uh, robust as I have some of the day drinking stuff. That's funny. Uh, but man, if you're in the uh, in Key West, the docks, right? A uh, little gem that um, Chris and Sandy found. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, thank you that for us. Uh, this is another one down here. You guys are generous Joes tonight. Appreciate that. 2024 from YouTube user. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Mm. It's going to be a great year. I just got a great feeling for all of us. I think it's going to be a really great year for the channel, a really great year for band travel, a really great year, uh, I think, for all of us. I just have a really good feeling. Appreciate that. Thank you. Ooh. Um. Donna says, gumbo can be seafood or chicken sausage. I suck as a Cajun because I hate seafood. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would agree. 
Oh, Sherry Ann, I've got validation. Yes, wooden spoon works. How does that work? I don't understand. There's some chemistry. Physics? Must be, right? There's Christy in the house. How's your uh, embassy, young lady? Good to see you here. Uh, happy holidays. Uh, she just picked up her embassy RV. What was that? In uh, September, right? Seems like a year ago. Just a couple months ago. Uh, uh, first good to actually like cooking in the van more than cooking at home. I would agree. Because I have everything I need, which is, it's so funny. Kyle, when he comes knocking, he's like, do you have one of these? Do you have one of those? He asked me the day if I had a um, power drill. I'm like, that I don't have. <laughs> I don't need one. Uh, but everything else. Um, interesting. I'll have to try this. Yes, the wooden spoon does work. Keep it from boiling over. Okay, that's it. That's what I'm getting myself for Christmas. Now I'm the half off sale uh, at, the, at the old Walmart. This is great. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Making me hungry, time to bring on the pepperoni and cheese. Pizza, pizza. Um, let's see, Roads of Life. How do you handle major issues in Florida when you're on the road? Does Kyle take care of it all? Major issues referring to what, sir? Um, so he deals with the um, Airbnb properties. I deal with the van. And uh, have I had a major issue here lately? Uh, his, his rig needed some help. Um, so we got a, a RV technician, mobile RV technician. Uh, I helped kind of bird dog some of that. Uh, he fixed a pretty bad wiring problem that the dealer, he brought there three times, could never find it. Unbelievable. Um, let's see. That's uh, <laughs> a great question. Why do you park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? Just saying. Yeah, right? Uh Excuse me. The car park. So much better than a parking lot. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Um, uh, Roads of Life. I would assume you will be cooking for everyone at Peace, Love, and Vans, right? Now we'll be having bourbon. That's what we'll be doing. Oh, Sharon says it should freeze well. Oh, that's a good idea. That's one thing. Uh, here's a hot tip. Or a cold tip. Hot tip. Um, one thing I love about the cast iron is when I need to defrost the refrigerator... Um, putting hot water in the cast iron um, and then putting that in the, in the you know, tail food out, turn it off. Um, it's, it's like three X faster um, than the old way I used to do it. Uh, cast iron really retains its heat. Um, so I will not be putting it in the freezer tonight because it would melt my fridge. Uh, so great. <laughs> this is so great. Um, I was going to do, uh, I don't know if you can see this behind me. This is the, um, they were right next to the garbage dumpster and the bathroom, which is pretty funny. I don't need either necessarily, but it is a parade of humanity in and out of that bathroom all night long. A lot of tent campers at this RV park. Um, John's saying, I uh, soup would freeze nicely and make a quick meal later. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'll probably do that. Chattanooga. Daniel, good to see you, sir. Love Chattanooga. Uh, one of my favorite towns. If you've not been to Chattanooga, you got to put it on your list for next year. Um, <laughs> Carl, I'm not sure I have a guess at you do, sir. I'm pretty sure I've never lifted up glass to see it. If you haven't lifted it up in a while, you might be surprised what you find in there. Cause it captures everything. I don't know how it gets in there, but, uh, uh, I need a Snoop Dogg series. <laughs> oh my God. Um, pretty funny. Um, how do you deal? Sharon wants to know with driver's license renewal and violent license renewal. The great news is Florida is really ahead of, I don't know, the other place we used to deal with a lot with Illinois, Florida. It's all through the mail, really pretty good websites. Um, we said update the driver's license with a new um, address. Cause we sold, well, he sold one of the properties um, that we used to have as our uh, primary residence. And um, it's really easy. There's 25 bucks. It gets mailed to the house and, uh, um, and the, and the license plates are um, at least two years, maybe in three years now. So I'm good till um, next year in the summer. Um, but Florida makes it really easy, um, way easier, unless Illinois is caught up. But they were just really a, a hassle. Um, and then they get mailed to the house, and they would just uh, overnight it to me if I'm not there. That's how we do that. How we do it on time. Let's do... Um, Oh, here, we can just see how my soup looks. Uh, let's compare, shall we? Where is my cursor? This thing is just driving me crazy. Um, I'm sitting at an angle, which isn't helping. Okay, so here's the... Uh, here's the... 
what it should look like. I didn't do too bad. Right? I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm going to be eating that when we're off the air here in a few minutes. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's uh, look at this day in history. Where is my cursor? Oh, my goodness. If you're watching last week, you know, I had a Chrome crash, which was super interesting. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Maybe I'll just turn it this way. It's operator error. That's much better. Um, hang tight. Let me get to Libation Live. Where are you doing that? This day in history. Here we go. You ready? A, kind of a slow news day, which isn't a bad thing. You've seen all the headlines that um, this is the least effective Congress ever. They pass the, the, the least amount of laws, like in you know, how many Congresses, right? Is that a bad thing not to be passing a bunch of laws? I don't know. Um, pretty funny. Okay, this day in history. You ready? Slow news day. Um, 55 years ago, Apollo 8 splashes down the Pacific Ocean ending the first orbital crewed mission to the moon. Thank you, Apollo 8, clearing the way for Apollo 11 just a few months later. 96 years ago today, uh, Kern and Hammerstein's musical Showboat, considered to be the first true American musical play, opens at the Ziegfeld Theater on Broadway. 96 years ago. 101 years ago, Japanese aircraft carrier Hosho becomes the first purpose-built aircraft carrier to be commissioned in the world. And they put that to pretty, pretty good use a few years later, right? <laughs> this day in history. And uh, this is our music for Song of the Week. Oops, we don't want that. We want this. There we go. Um, and this is by Fish. Blaze On, recommended by an audience angel. He showed up at the um, roundup we had in... Uh, in uh, Boynton Beach, a couple of Lake Worth, a couple of weeks ago, um, the, he thought the the song would be appropriate because um, there's a line in the song says "One life blaze on." Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting song. Uh, give it a listen. Fish blaze on. If you have a recommendation, um, I keep hitting this one. There we go. All right, how we do it? Cast Iron Man Chef. Ooh, what else we got tonight? I think that's it, right? Uh, um, yeah. Okay, let's just look see if there's a few more things here. Looks like we are done. And <laughs> Tin Can Carl's still laughing at my cooking show. <laughs> Thanksgiving. We, we'll do more of these. I just think they're a lot of fun. Um, one time we did made martinis, right? Uh, let's do more of these. Great idea. Make make cocktails, right? We'll put the recipe out. Everybody can make a. a mocktail or a camp cocktail from the uh, from the cookbook, right? Maybe we'll get the Russo's to join us. Uh, that would be kind of fun. Uh, um, appreciate that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much for joining another What's Up Wednesday. We'll see you next week. It's a new year. Next week, right? I don't know where I'm going to be yet. Um, but we'll be here. That's for sure. So thank you to each and every one of you. Without you, this would not be possible and uh, mean that very, very much. You all mean so much uh, to me. Um, enabling my dreams by helping others enable theirs. That's what this is all about. All right, folks, we'll see you later. Thank you very much. And we say journey on and peace. I always get this backwards. Be with you.